Football South African SA Sports Awards. And of course, this year it was hosted at the Santon Convention Center. The biggest winner of the night was Portia Modise, who won the SA Sports Star of the Year, the only category where the winner is voted for by the public. Well, in studio with us, we've got the Minister of Sport. You should actually become the co-anchor of Morning Light. Do you know that? Well, I don't have to. I, I'm here because uh, I come to represent what I do, so uh, I, don't <laughs> I, know. I, I don't think I enjoy coming here all oh, the time. Oh, come if, on. If, we if, love if, having if, you if, here. If I was aging, I wouldn't be here. We love you. We love having you yeah. here. It's good to have you again. Yeah. Congrats on a successful award ceremony again. I think it went off exceptionally well on Sunday night. Yes, it went exceptionally well. I think uh, it's a pity that Portia is not here. She's learning how to drive. I hope she has a license. <laughs> uh, she's caught up in a in a in a in a traffic. Yeah. Uh, the feedback we got was good. Uh, I'm not here to really put a pet on my back. It seemed that uh, the large population of South Africa does appreciate the sports awards, and uh, they really gave us a good feedback. And uh, I'm I'm humbled by that. And uh, uh, we will go bigger and better from now. We are going down, starting in the provinces and. Uh, culmination into the national uh, event at the national level. Yeah. So this is about social cohesion, celebrating our stars. A nation that does not celebrate its stars and recognize them is not a winning nation. Mm. <clears throat> and it certainly is, because I mean, you have, to, you have to recognize excellence. And I think what was so significant on Sunday night is the fact that Portia, who we really are sad that she couldn't make it, but if she does get here, we'll, we'll, we'll push her on anyway, is the first woman to win this award, an award that is voted for by the public, which I think is a, is a, is a massive, massive uh, accolade to her. You know, this thing uh, of uh, chauvinism and, uh, you know, looking down on women, uh, I think it's over now. I think uh, it's a good coincidence that we have uh, Portia winning during the 16 days of activism. But over and above that, what other people who don't know need to understand and be educated about what South Africans voted for, it is the qualities of what Portia has achieved. Yeah. 100 goals, uh, still going strong, and at the same time, uh, you know, 100 caps. And uh, I think uh, she's a marvelous player of uh, Banyana Banyana. Um, it is good that uh, she won and make all women to believe that they will get there. Congratulations to her. And the nation has spoken, and uh, it's good news for women's sports, but good news for Porsche. She deserved it long time ago. I was in the other awards of music the other day, and the Tembi Siete was almost in tears saying that, boom shaka, you know, finally it is here. We have never been, it is important to award people while they're still alive. Absolutely. And the uh, South Africans have spoken, and uh, Porsche. Uh, all the best and you deserve it. Yeah, she certainly does. And I, and I just think it does so much for, for women's, women's sports, but, but football as well. And you look at Banyana Banyana and the performance of Banyana Banyana. Now, I mean, you've been a, a big advocate for, for women's sports and, and pushing it more and more and more. In the next year, what are you going to be doing even more to push female sports? We will uh, actually ensure that where it is possible to elevate women's sport, to become professional, to assist, we'll do that. When it comes to football, uh, Safa has agreed to come to the party big time. And uh, I think uh, Denis Jordan has got a vision, uh, the president of Safa, to try and professionalize women's sport. And we're in agreement about that. That goes for cricket and also to help with uh, uh, regard to that in rugby. So... Many things that are exciting in women's sport are coming our way, and a lot of individual girls in individual sport are doing exceptionally well, and we'll continue to support them and elevate them to the highest uh, pedestal. Yeah. Also, I think one of the most emotional moments of the evening was that special award given to Joost van der Westhuizen. Uh, that must have been a, um, also a very emotional time for you. Yes, uh, it is an emotional time for me, but for everybody also. I think Joost is a fighter. Yeah. Um, he has led from the front. By now, doctor said he will be no more, but he's still there, still standing. And I think he's soldiering on. I mean, that's one way to say to him that, look, we are with you, with your family. As South Africa, you have done it before in the soccer, I mean, in the field of playing rugby. And uh, you have led from the front in fighting the very dangerous and, uh, you know, uh, disease of motor neuron. And uh, I think... Uh, it's sad, you know, for him to go down that way, but uh, we have to accept. And uh, he has done his part, and uh, 
mm. we have to be there to support him. Uh, Joost van der Veste is the most prolific rugby player ever produced and uh, one of the best of South Africa. Yeah. And we'll always be there to support him, to see him through this as we have done with all other athletes. Yeah, certainly. And also, um, at, again, another emotional moment as we, as we wrap this interview was certainly paying tribute to our fallen heroes this year because there have been far too many sportsmen and women that have lost their lives. Every year we'll continue to do that. And I met last week with my uh, colleagues in the MinMEC and uh, we took a decision that we need to assist uh, our athletes who have done exceptionally well for South Africa uh, some of them are destitute. They don't have anything. But uh, the way to remember them is to continue to honor them, to continue to go back to those names. It will never be enough and it will never end. But when they pass on, it's our responsibility to give them a dignified send-off. And we'll continue to do that as the Ministry of Sports and uh, all our MECs and the, the different the municipalities where it is possible to celebrate these heroes, educate our children, educate the generation about the importance of sports and individuals in sports in unifying our people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Minister, thank you very much for coming in again. And uh, thank you so much for treating our sports stars with the res respect that they certainly deserve for the hard work they put into uh, bringing our country up there. All